Just like in current GPD policy, the interaction between the officer and the person he or she is hoping to search will be documented on body-worn camera. But now there are additional things the officer needs to do during this exchange. This has been a healthy discussion. And I think that we have looked at it from a variety of different angles. Following a lengthy conversation about consent searches amongst city council members, the motion amending GPD's consent search policy to include written permission on a consent to search form failed. Mayor Nancy Vaughn proposed a substitute motion called informed documented consent, which passed five to four. Assistant city manager Trey Davis explains. When the officers are approaching the person in that consensual encounter, there are three main things that are going to be identified or the officers are going to make sure those people know. Those three things are first expressing that it is a voluntary encounter. Second, informing the person of their right to refuse the search. And third, letting them know they do have a right to withdraw that consent at any time. Council members Thurm, Kennedy, Outling and Johnson voted against the informed documented consent. In my view, this is almost perfectly identical to the existing policy. I don't see a utility in this, whereas I saw a prospective utility in connection with written consent. Police Chief Brian James explained that he can quickly put the policy changes into place. And I could put it in policy this week and, and officers would immediately be held to that requirement that they have to say those three things. In Greensboro, Alma McCarty, WFMY News 2.